Hello, hello everyone, Modified Triple Six here. How are we doing? We are in the Audi R18 and we are at the brand new Silverstone Circus. We're going to head out, do some siding laps. These are my first first uh, laps around this track. I'm uh, going to use this as a bit of a uh, opportunity to have a chat about uh, the upcoming season ahead of us. While also having an opportunity to uh, explore the brand new uh silverstone circuit that i racing have uh brought out to us um it's been a long time in the works coming this track so pretty excited to have it um give me a few sighting laps i'm not super familiar with the circuit layout uh we're going on the other left here i remember looks like it's a fairly open corner this one. Oh no it tightens there we go um Anyway, so what I've mainly wanted to uh, talk to you guys about while doing these sort of uh, few little sighting maps to go past the old pit lane is working our way into Season 3 of 2019 and my plans for uh, for racing, for moving forward. Um, as many of you would know, I've been really pushing into some... Uh, a lot of sim racing lately, really finding my um, my grounds and uh, enjoying being in the car a lot. Um, and with the Le Mans 24 hour, I have a new favourite car at the moment. Now that's not to say that the BMW M8 is going to uh, disappear out of the love books. Um, it's definitely still one of my favourite cars on the service. And at this point, I'm contemplating doing two to three nights of racing a week, uh, all streamed. Uh, Tuesday nights, I'm thinking it's still going to continue to be a um, IMSA in the BMW. And depending on my teammates, so, um, I'm pretty sure Tim will still be joining us. Uh, I'm not sure what Michael Gray and Michael Spidell's uh, plans are at this point. Whether they will uh, continue to join us in that... Uh, series and then I'm think contemplating oh my god okay that's a bit harder than I uh, anticipated as I said these are sort of sighting laps I'm not familiar with this uh, new layout of uh, Silverstone um, and then contemplating Thursday night as a uh, sort of a, a night to run the uh, racing Le Mans sprint series in none other than the R18. A car that I really have found a lot of uh, affection for. Um, it was a bucket list item to race this car. Um, has been since I noticed they came out on the R Racing service. Um, and it was sort of one of those things that I've always really, really wanted to do. Uh, so even to race it at the Le Mans 24 hour uh, was quite quite an incredible experience overall. Uh, to finish third, I still think like for me personally reflecting on the overall experience, there was a lot to uh, to learn, a lot to be desired, a lot of things that I personally could have done better, uh, the team could have done better, and we will. Uh, take forward going into the season uh, ahead and a perfect opportunity to implement some of those lessons will be the uh, Le Mans Enduro Series which will again be focusing on the R18 um, oh man look at that sun reflection that's gorgeous um, as we yeah push for the 6 hour event for the season and see what we can uh how we how we just compete oh okay still have yet to find that uh that apex there and ideal line through that corner um so yeah an exciting exciting couple of uh season ahead now those that are not super familiar an our racing season goes for 12 weeks uh we're Week 13 at the end of it, which is when our racing typically do their big updates and uh, release new content and things like that. So, 12 weeks, three months of uh, of racing, with hopefully uh, two lots of racing, 
per week loaded up onto my YouTube channel. Um, three to four streams a week um, of actual racing content. Now the six hours are only every second Saturday. Um, so that'll be a thing. Uh, one other note is our baby here, our R Audi R18 has gone through another balance of performance. Uh, now what that exactly means is yet to be sort of seen. But basically the, the wording from uh, from my racing was they've calculated, recalculated the baseline uh, boost percentages to better reflect the uh, system's new higher levels of boost generation. Uh, now that's not the exact wording so don't quote me on that but that's the gist of it. Basically, the system is generating more boost under braking. Uh, somewhere in the region I've heard 24%. Alright, this corner here. Let's not run wide this time. God, that's a lot tighter than I anticipate. Um, yeah. Somewhere in the region of 24% is what most a lot of people are saying in terms of actual time. In uh, my testing alone, it's uh, equated to about a one second uh, lap time gain. So hopefully we should see the Audi better matched to the uh, Porsches. Um, again, that will uh, be very dependent on implementation um, and testing and other things like that. So maybe our beloved Audi will be a bit more of, on the uh, competitive side. Um, yeah. This uh, new uh, Silverstone is quite, quite pretty. I'm, uh, I'm liking it. <coughs> There's some areas of it that are obviously haven't changed much. Um, and then sections that have gone through significant updates. Big thing here is obviously this is the uh, start finish line we're coming up to. So this section here used to be a... Uh, I'm trying to remember it exactly. I think it actually went a little bit further around that way. But this is a new start finish line. There used to be a bridge here, I believe. Which has disappeared and made way for this uh, this chicane here, which, or series of very tight corners, which I'm struggling with, so. Yeah, uh, exciting season ahead. I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am. Um, and we will, uh, no doubt, have some... Uh, some good racing ahead of us maybe some crashes and some other disappointing stuff but anyway we'll uh finish off this lap i'm going to head into the pit lane and i will see you guys at the first round which will be spa